Hello, transcended dear guys. So in this video, let's just talk about the solubility rules, the easiest way of remembering them. So I just want you to know three things that are going to help you. Okay. So the first thing is to know the things that are always soluble. The second is to know what is mostly soluble. Then the third thing is to know mostly insoluble. Okay. So number one, always soluble. What is always soluble? So group 1 elements are always soluble. For example, sodium, potassium, and other elements in group 1, they are always going to be soluble. Of course, there may be some exceptions, but generally, whenever you are given something containing sodium as a salt, it is soluble. Okay. So ammonia as well. Ammonia is always going to be soluble and nitrate so all these sorts containing group one elements ammonia and nitrate are going to be soluble there are no exceptions okay they may be there but generally there are no exceptions okay the second one we're going to know the things that are mostly soluble so sulfates and group seven elements the allies that is our uh, example chlorine bromine iodide they are always mostly going to be soluble there are a few exceptions that we're going to talk about. Then the ones that are mostly insoluble are hydroxides, phosphates, carbonates, sulfides, and chromates. These are mostly insoluble, with a few exceptions. So generally what I can tell you is for the ones that are mostly insoluble, it's very easy for you to remember them. All what you have to know is know the ones that are mostly soluble. And there are very few, which is just the sulfate, group 7, and the things that are on top. So the ones that are always going to be soluble, group 1, ammonia, and nitrate, they are the ones that are going to be exceptions to all the elements that I've put, to all these sorts that contain um, these. So these ones that are mostly insoluble, their exceptions are the ones that are always soluble. Okay. So what we are saying is hydroxides, phosphorus, Phosphates, carbonates, sulfides, and chromates are always going to be insoluble, except in the case where they have group 1, ammonia, and nitrates, which are always soluble. In addition to that, hydroxide, for hydroxide, barium, as well as selenium, are also going to be soluble. Okay, now, now that we know the ones that are mostly insoluble with their exceptions, let us try to find out now the exceptions to the ones that are mostly soluble. So with the ones that are mostly soluble, we've said group 7 elements, which include chlorine, fluorine, and other allergens as well. These are always going to be, they are going to be mostly soluble, except, so a few exceptions that we have are these. Sleme. Okay. So I don't know if you can remember this word, but this word can help you. So that is silver, red, and mercury. So these are the exceptions to the group 7 elements. Then for the sulfates, which are also going to be mostly soluble, the only exceptions are cabare sulfates. So if you're able to remember that word, well and good. So this is calcium, barium, and red. So these are the exceptions that we have to the ones that are mostly soluble. Okay, so in summary, what have we said? In summary, we've said the ones that are always going to be soluble are what? So always soluble, we've said, it's see, ammonia, nitrate, and what? And group one. So these are always going to be soluble. Okay, now the ones that are going to mostly be soluble mostly soluble we've talked about uh, ammonia so mostly soluble we've, we've talked about sulfates sorry we've talked about uh, sulfates then we've also talked about uh, the allies the group seven elements so for the sulfates we've said uh, it's calcium barium and what and red these are the ones that are going to be insoluble so these are mostly soluble then for group 7, we said slime. So silver, 
red and mercury are the ones that are going to be exceptions they are insoluble then finally we've talked about the ones that are going to be mostly insoluble so the other things or what we've not talked about the chromates the phosphates and all the other things like hydroxides those are going to be mostly insoluble so when you talk about hydroxides their their exceptions are the ones that are going to be always soluble including group one which are always also always going to be soluble so those are the exceptions to the things that are going to be mostly insoluble but in addition to that hydroxides also have bar barium and selenium these are also going to be soluble for hydroxides okay so now that we know the solubility laws let's try to look at uh, some of the examples okay so we have a group of compounds there let's try to identify whether they are soluble salts or insoluble so starting with the first one there so what we have is sodium sulfide okay so sodium sodium is in group one so if you talk about the first two which is talking about the things that are always going to be soluble sodium is part of it so we can therefore say that the first one is what soluble because of all group one elements are always going to be what soluble the second one aluminium nitrate so again rule number one all group one all nitrates and all ammonium salts are soluble so this is also soluble the third one so you can pause the video and try out these others okay so the third one so we have a sulfide here so what did we say about sulfides so sulfide is coming under the last part of the sorts where we are saying they are mostly going to be what they are mostly going to be insoluble okay so the only exceptions are the ones that are always soluble but sulfide sulfate is not part of them so this is insoluble okay the second one aluminium phosphate so this is also falling in a group of the last things that we had okay so what is aluminium for is it going to be soluble or insoluble so we said all the things that are mostly insoluble the only exceptions are the things that are always going to be soluble so now was the aluminium part of the things that are always going to be soluble no aluminium is not part of group one elements and it's not a nitrate it's not it's also not an ammonia so this is also insoluble how about calcium sulfate so we said sulfates are usually what we said sulfates are usually soluble with some exceptions where we said calcium barium and red okay so therefore we can say since calcium is part of them so this is also insoluble okay so we have um, ammonium carbonate there so do we expect ammonium carbonate to be soluble or to be insoluble so what do we have so we have ammonia then we also have um, a carbonate okay so we said all ammonium salts are what are going to be soluble so this is soluble okay then barium sulfate so we said all sulfates are soluble with these exceptions calcium barium and red so barium is part of exception so this is going to be insoluble how about sodium phosphate so all sodium salts are soluble so this is soluble then the last one okay so this one was repeated Oh, so calcium sulfate is actually insoluble okay so uh, i just hope that this video gave you an idea on how to remember the three bit rules and understanding them okay thank you very much for watching